Okay, it's Steve Barwick here for the SilverEdge.com. You might have noticed from time to time when making colloidal silver, uh, particularly if you were making a uh, highly concentrated batch, you know, a double strength or triple strength batch, that you might get some uh, little gray silver oxide flecks in the finished solution when it's all done. And uh, you might see them floating around in the solution or actually drifting to the bottom of the production container and settling on the bottom. These silver oxide flecks are perfectly harmless. They're actually produced uh, on the silver rods during the colloidal silver making process. It's a function of the electricity and the water on the silver. But um, the silver oxide flecks are, are they're, they're perfectly harmless, but they're kind of unsightly in your uh, uh, jar of colloidal silver. So if you want to filter them out, there's a very simple way. You just take a paper coffee filter, preferably unbleached, and attach it to the top of a wide mouth jar like we have here on the left. You see the uh, rubber band there that's uh, holding the paper coffee filter in place and a batch of colloidal silver on the right. And all you have to do is take your batch of colloidal silver, which I'm going to show you right here, and just slowly pour it through the paper coffee filter. And what will happen is, as the uh, finished colloidal silver solution filters down through that paper coffee filter, any silver oxide flecks in the uh, finished solution will be filtered out, as well as any overly large silver particles or silver particle agglomerates, I should say. So it's a very simple process. You just pour your silver solution right on through that paper coffee filter. And then when you're done, of course, you take the paper coffee filter off and uh, put your colloidal silver solution in a dark uh, glass brown bottle, an amber glass brown bottle, or whatever your storage container, your preferable storage container is, and you're all done. So it's that simple. And don't forget that for more great tips and strategies and hints on using colloidal silver, please go to www.thesilveredge.com. Thank you.